Hey guys, I'm here with a Bath and Body Works hand soap and wallflower haul. I wasn't gonna do a haul, I showed you in my blog, if you watched our vlog last week, when I got my hand soaps in the mail. I wasn't gonna do a haul, but I thought maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't, I wasn't for sure yet. But then the wallflowers were on sale and there was a 10 off 30 coupon in an email. So I went and bought some wallflowers, so I figured I'd go ahead and do the hand soaps with the wallflowers here. Even though I've already used started using three of the hand soaps, I'll go ahead and show you what I got anyway. So real quick, I'll go over here what I got. I'll start with the hand soaps. The hand soaps, they weren't on sale for seven for 24. I think they were six for 24, and there was a 20% off coupon, and then they had free shipping online if you had over $25, I think it was. So I ended up paying like $24 for seven of these hand soaps. So this is what I got here. The first one is, I'll start with the first three that I've already started using. This one is Gardenia in Spring Rain. And it says, rain-kissed leaves and gardenia blooms. We've already started using this in the bathroom in the hallway. This one's nice. It's not real strong on your hands though, but since I've already been using it, but it does smell like just, um, I get like a watery gardenia note. That gardenia, but then mixed with like a watery note is basically what I get with that. It's nice, but like I said, um, it's not real strong when you wash your hands with it. So that makes it just kind of okay. Next we have strawberry vanilla sugar. And this is like the third one I think they've had. I know they had strawberries and cream. And that one I really liked a lot. And then I think they had another one, but I can't remember the name of that one. I think there was another one. But this one is strawberry vanilla sugar. And it says mouthwatering strawberry and sweet vanilla cream. So it sounds like it would be like strawberries and cream. But it is similar to that somewhat, but it it's not as creamy. It almost has like a, it's like it has like a bakery note to it, like a, kind of like a bakery strawberry, which you would think would smell good, but for some reason, I'm not as crazy about this one. I've been using this on my side of the sink in our bathroom, and it has like a different kind of scent to it that I'm not real, real crazy about. It's like a bakery, like a, almost kind of like a burnt sugar kind of with strawberry smell a little bit. That sounds kind of weird, but that's kind of what I'm getting from it. I don't know, it's not my favorite out of the ones. I really like strawberries and cream much better than this one. So if you have the choice of get, I don't even think strawberries and cream is available anymore, but um, I wouldn't get this one again, basically. This is the third one we've been using. This one is watermelon lemonade. I like the packaging of this one a lot. That's really cool with the drinks. It says juicy watermelon and sweet Meyer lemon. This one I've had before and it smells exactly the same. It smells like watermelon lemonade. Get that little bit of watermelon note and lemon mixed together. It's pretty good. I basically got this because I was trying to um, get seven and then uh, this one's pretty good so I went ahead and picked it up. And then Brad's using this on his side of the sink because I used the last one we had, so I figured I'd let him use this one. Okay, next we have Sunshine and Lemons. With the lemons on the front there. This one says Fresh Lemon Drenched in Sunlight. This one's really, really citrusy. It's, it's definitely lemons. That's pretty much all you smell, and it's really, you really get that that rind of that lemon is what I smell in there. It's very strong on that lemon rind note. It's really good. I hope it's strong. I'll use that one in the kitchen. I love using kitchen scents in the or lemon scents in the kitchen. Next we have nectarine sun tea, and this one it has another little drink there. So I guess it's sun tea. It looks like little mint leaves in there though. So it must be nectarine sun tea on the picture there. Um, I thought I ordered, I'm almost positive I ordered a foaming soap because I always order the foaming soaps, but they sent me the deep cleansing. I don't know if maybe they're out of the uh, foaming, so they just sent me this one or if I accidentally hit the deep cleansing instead. But uh, I just prefer the 
foaming. They just seem to last a lot longer. Some people say that these deep cleansing last longer, but I think these go a lot faster. To me, when I use these deep cleansing, they go super fast. And I just like the foaming. They just are already for you, already foamed up, but I just like I just like the foamy better. So let me smell this here. I guess I'll just go ahead and use this one to say that's what they sent me. This one I really, really like. This one's really good. You really get that tea note in there. It's tea. Well, there's a little bit of nectarine. It's not real strong on the nectarine note, but you get a, you get a little bit of that, of that mixed in with that tea, that sun tea. It's really nice. I'm, I'm really excited to use that one. If I like it a lot, I might go end up getting uh, the foaming in this one since they sent me the wrong one. But yeah, I'm real excited to try that one because I love tea scents. Don't mind the kids outside. They're outside playing and I have the windows open, so if you hear a bunch of kids screaming outside. Okay, and next I have Indigo Sky. And this one says, deep blue sky, ocean breeze, and soft amber. Yeah, this one's nice. Basically, I get like a watery note and then an amber. It's like watery um, and soft amber. It's nice. I like it. I think I've had that one before, I believe. I think I had it last summer, I think. And next we have, the last one is Endless Weekend, which I've had this many times before too, in the candle and the hand soap. Spring blooms, blue waters, and sparkling citrus. And this one I get a water note again, but then it's water with a floral note. It's like a floral watery note. I don't really get citrus. I don't get citrus at all, hardly. Much. Basically just like a florally watery note mixed together. So, that's pretty good. I'm not super, super big into Endless Weekend, but I like it. and I. I was trying to get to seven, so I picked it. And uh, today, when I went to get the wildfires, they have all their uh, new summer scents, like suntan and a bunch of different ones, and the hand soaps. So um, once these are done, I'll be going back and getting a lot of the summer ones. All right, so now we have the wallflowers. So I ended up getting six wallflowers, and then I got a night light wallflower unit to get me up to. 30. They had the wallflowers on sale for 350, and then the wallflower unit was 1050. So that got me up to about 31, and then 10 off 30, dropped it down to like, let's see, I have my receipt right here. I ended up paying 239 for each wallflower and 717 for the the nightlight, and then it, with tax it came to 2354 for the six wallflowers and then the nightlight unit. So I'll show you the wallflowers real quick. I have blue ocean waves. I'm not going to show you close because it doesn't focus close up. Blue Ocean Waves is sea spray, creamy sandalwood, and fresh citrus breezes bring ocean waves to life. And of course, I can't smell it because it's got the thing on it, so that's what that says. And then I have Suntan. That one is back in the sunny, back in the sunny fragrance of vibrant orange blossoms, bright citrus, and soft coconut husk. I really like Suntan. It smells just like Suntan lotion. I got Fiji White Sands. It's fresh cut sugarcane. White nectarine and sandalwood evoke a South Seas paradise. Then I got Island Margarita. This is always a good one in the wallflower. It's sunny lime, mango, and plum with a freshly salted rim. Next we have coconut sandalwood. Creamy island coconut mixes with luxurious sandalwood and jasmine. This one is so good. I had this one a few months ago and it was super strong. I loved it. I loved it. A lot and I will definitely um, purchase more after I use this one if this one's just as good hopefully it's just as good as the last one was and then last we have strawberry vanilla this one um, just came out I think and I have the candle and I loved the candle so I decided to get the wallflower it says added juicy sweetness to any spring day with garden strawberries infused with infused with fresh vanilla so I was really excited to try that one because I love the candle. So next is my wallflower unit that I bought. This was really cool. I really liked it. I saw it in the email and then I saw it at the store and I had to have it. It is, let me see if you can see it there. 
It's a lantern nightlight. Isn't that awesome? I love that. It's so cool. It's a little lantern. So you put the wildfire behind it and it'll light up like a lantern. That's so cool. So that's awesome. I had to have that. So I'll put that in the hallway bathroom. Um, because the one I have in there now, I think the one I have in there now is, is uh, I think the one with the leaves on it, it's like kind of older. So this one will be good. All right, so that is it for my wallflower and my hand soap haul and my little nightlight unit. I love it. So, all right, so thanks for watching. And they had a lot of the candles out too today. They had a lot of the, like the marbled, um, like the, uh, the brushed glass. The frosted glass ones, those are really pretty. And I liked actually quite a bit of them. Actually, I was surprised. There was about three or four different ones I really, really liked. So the next candle sale, I'll probably end up going and picking up a few. I've been trying to be good and not buy a lot of candles and burn through what I have. So, um, but I will probably pick up a few. I don't go crazy during the summertime. I usually buy just a few, but then fall is when I go crazy with them. So, all right, thanks for watching. Please comment. Thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.